Good morning, church. Hallelujah. What a private time, place, and space. You know that we're just trusting in the Lord here this morning and just starting something, you know, just starting something brand new within our lives. We should be trusting God, waiting on God, and, you know, truly starting brand new things within our lives and as well as for our family members. Amen. I think that in our waiting and in our starting something that our love should be sincere, a real thing, and and hate what is evil. You know, that's what the Lord is saying here at the book of Romans there in chapter 12, verse 9 and 11. Let your love be sincere. In other words, let that be real. Hate what is evil. Uh, loathe all ungodliness. Turn and her from wickedness. But hold fast to that which is good. In other words, love one another with a brotherly affection. In other words, you know that there is a love that's no better than a love of a brother or a love towards a sister. Amen. And especially to those who are in need. Acts of kindness, acts of goodness, outside of wickedness, trusting in the Lord and the love and the affection that we have towards our brothers and towards our sisters. See, as member, as one family, we give precedent and showing honor to one another. Never lag in the zeal and in the earnest endeavor, but be a glow. In other words, God wants us to be burning with the Spirit, in the Spirit, serving the Lord thy God. And you know, I know that it is very hard to feel like you can serve or feel like you can trust or feel like you can wait or even feel like, once again, that you can serve when maybe you're in a rock and a hard place. Maybe you got haters, backbiters on your back. Maybe you feel like I'm in the midst of the turmoil Maybe you you feel like you're in the mud yourself. Come on now. Oh, uh, I mean, I could just go on and on. There's personal testimonies, literally, when the Lord showed me to bring deliverance, to bring de deliverance into the lives of people, of those that were suffering in their shame, suffering in their guilt, and truly, literally, on their way. To help. And see, that's where we have to see the likeness of our Savior, the likeness of our King, the likeness in all the way around from the very top to the very bottom. Come on now. And isn't that a picture of the world? Top to bottom and all the way around the world. God is about people. God is about touching people. God is about bringing life into the life of others. You know, remove the spirit of remorse. Remove the spirit of anger. Remove the spirit of hatred. Remove all these evil spirits. Because we're not here to do an evil deed. But to do not even a, a good deed. But to do a godly deed. In other words, doing that which Christ has called you to do. When you do that which what Christ has called you to do, that is who you are. You know, I've been promoting this morning through all our social medias. Just be you. I can't put on the garments of Goliath 
I can't even put on the garments of Saul. No. If we are David in this situation, or if we are Queen Esther in this situation, or if we are uh, the Apostle Paul dealing with the disciples and the hate and the anger of their tradition and their religionists, See what God wants to do. See how God wants to deliver. See how God wants to, to express life in and out of your life. You know, there's just so much of encouragement. There's just so much of love. There's just so much of peace. You know, let God permanence within your life. Just like as we come into the presence of the Lord. Let us come with thanksgiving in our heart. But you're probably saying, I have nothing to be thankful for. I'm telling you. Just by the hand of God. The eyes of God. To look towards our way. To give us this breath of life. It's a whole another opportunity of life to see the life of Christ to move mightily within our lives than ever before trusting in God trusting in the hand of God trusting in the movement of God trusting in the likeness of God trusting for these encounters of the Holy Spirit to move in our lives, to move in our hearts, and to move towards the promise. The promise that God has promised and setting the captives free and opening up the blind eyes. Come on now. Opening up the ears to hear Setting the captive free from the chains, from sin, from guilt. Bringing sweet deliverance to our lives and to the lives of our children. Because the devil cannot have our children. The devil cannot have our life. I will not hand over our life. Our purpose, our meaning, our reason to the hands of my enemies. No, we will lift up this cross and follow God and be a blessing in our coming in and our going out constantly being a blessing. See, church, God wants to renew your life to the utmost. He wants to bless you from the very crown of your head to the very soles of your feet. I call you blessed and I call you favored. As we wait, as we trust, as God is creating and beginning something so brand new in your life, we shall wait on the Lord. Colossians there in chapter 3 verses 24. Knowing with all certainty. That it is from the Lord. And not from men. That you will receive the inheritance. Which is your real reward. See our reward cannot come from men. Our reward comes from God. Our reward comes from our Savior. He is the one whom you are actually serving. He is the one that we are actually serving in the Lord who is Christ, the Messiah. We trust in Him. We lean on Him. We are bursting with life in Him. Through our many areas in our lives. 
Lord, I don't know when that next check will come in, but I'm trusting in you, Lord. Lord, I don't know how I'm going to pay the bill. I don't know how I'm going to pay the house note, but I'm going to trust in the Lord. I'm waiting in faith and in the hope in and through God's promises that God will meet all of our needs according to God's riches and God's glory through Christ Jesus our Lord. You know, church, many times the process that we go through, they're not pretty. The process that you go through, you know what? It's not going to be a pink ponytail, you know. Hey, sometimes you're halfway going out the door. You see what I'm saying? In other words, you might not have the best tux. You may not have the best of you. But God knows you. God knows who you are. He knows Who you are destined to be and destined to do. And he is waiting on you to step out and step in into many promises that God has in store for your life. But we got to wait. Wait on the Lord. Allow him to deliver you. Allow that wait to be a promise. Allow that wait. To excel in your life. Allow that weight of God's promises to move mightily in your life. You know what? Because God is doing a new thing. God is starting something so very new. Something so very real. God wants us to start having a godly attitude And are creating something new. Let it be. Just the spreading of the gospel. That as we move forward into the things of God. And doing new things. Going places. And bringing the word of God. You know soon and very soon. We'll be delivering the word in Dallas. Amen. As the Lord permits. As the Lord wills. And who knows what other doors can open. To expand our lives. And bring in the gospel. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not about what we do. It's all about what he has chosen to do. Within our lives. As we trust. As we wait. And as we start brand new things, hey, you got to move forward. Right now is not the time to look back. Now is not the time to see who's following your feet of, of, what is that, the pity patter. You see what I'm saying? No, establish yourself on the rock. Establish yourself and who you are. Establish yourself whom God has created you to be to establish many works for the kingdom of God. Let us pray here today. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus flowing in our lives here today as we settle. And we're not settling to settle anything, but Father, we Wait on you. We trust in you. Father, we are believing in you. You are the great. You are the mightiest. And Lord, you have created life in me. The life of Christ. The best of the best. The best of all the rest. Come on now. So much goodness. So much kindness. So much of your love. Lord, I trust you. I trust you with my heart. 
I trust you, Lord, with my life. I trust you, Lord, in my coming in. And I trust you, Lord, in my going out and the same. Let my hope, let my life, let the best of it all to shine bright in a lost and dying world. Help me, show me, lead me the way that I may walk and those paths of righteousness of that straight and narrow road. Lord, I wait. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Church, I thank you for once again gathering with the saints today and bringing in this word of God. You know, there's something about the stillness of God. There's something about the presence of God. Just, I feel like these words were just piercing and touching our bones and our marrow of our insights, of every testin, of every area. We rebuke all tumors. We rebuke all heartaches. We rebuke all stress aches. Come on now. We rebuke, we rebuke, we rebuke, and we're waiting on you, Lord. We're listening to you, Lord. We are hearing you, O Lord, here today. From the very crown of our head to the very soles of our feet. I trust you, Jesus. Oh, we trust you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Lord, that we just wait on you, Lord. We wait on you, Lord. We wait on you, Almighty God. We're trusting in you, Almighty God. We're believing in you, Almighty God. You make us to go on the path of the straight way, the righteous way, the blessed way. And are coming in and are going out, Lord. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Lord, we wait on you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Church, we love you. Thank you for gathering with the saints here today. As we are able to be a blessing in our lives. Your life, my life. We're able to encourage one another. We're able to bless one another. We're able to give towards one another. We are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that God, that we can ask for and thank for. You know, this is God working through our lives. This isn't, it's no longer the I, because this is not the I no more. But it's greater is he that lives in me than he that is of the world. He wants to do something different. Let God be God. Let God be exalted. Let God be high and lifted up. Let God be praised here today in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, church. Hey, don't forget to visit our social media platforms, many areas, Instagram, our Twitter family, all of our Facebook ministry pages, our groups, Crossing Borders International, Cruzando Fronteras con una Voz Alerta, um, also our group and many other groups that are affiliated with this ministry. 
Amen. Following us on our live streaming programs. Amen. And as the Lord leads, you know, he's always put TV in my heart. Hey, we never know. We're coming into this new year. Uh, we already have our designs out, our Christmas designs. I will be promoting those designs. Uh, Tina Viesca Designs. Look us up. Amen. On Google. And it will direct you to many different products and Christian wear. Amen. Don't forget as well, we are there on Amazon. Created some ebooks there as well. We do have one paperback working on the other. Amen. As we speak, the ebook is already out in the ebook form. As a matter of fact, we have three ebooks out at this time and one paperback. Um, I wanted to promote another one, um, but I really want to go ahead and try to put these, these others by the, by the grace of God, uh, putting these others in the paperback form. And so thank you for your love. I'm saying all this because I'm saying thank you for your love, your support to this ministry that as you help me and allow me to touch many nations and to be a part of many nations, as well as being a blessing to many nations. We love you, church, and until next time, amen and amen. God bless you, church. <laughs>